Are you serious? Merrick is mad. Mad, mad, mad. No! Risk being hit by a bus like Regina George. Hey Chopsticks, on the menu today is Taboki, also known as Korean Spicy Rice Cakes. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Merrick. Nice to meet you. I film mukbangs and ASMR, so if you are interested in these types of videos, make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so I have my taboki right here, and these ones are cheese flavored. I am so, so, so hungry. Let's eat, everyone. Got your chopsticks ready? I got mine. I'm using my blue ones today. So let's grab one taboki to start off with and drench it in the nice spicy sauce. Mmm. Alrighty. You guys know the drill. Open wide, open wide. Got it? Slay! Mmm. 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 Nice and chewy. Mmm. The spiciness. Mmm. And the cheese works so well together. Mmm. I might have put a, li a little too much hot pepper paste again. I keep doing that when I make homemade taboki. I did that in my last taboki video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it on the screen right there. I did some taboki and jumbo bronze. But yeah, in that video, I used too much taboki. I mean too much um, hot pepper based again. Here's a fish ball for everyone. Open wide. Here, let me, can I focus? Come on, come on. My friend suggested I be a beauty guru and use my other hand because all beauty gurus do like a close-up shot of their makeup products to help it focus with the other hand. Slay. I hope it focused. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Fishball is good. Nicely cooked. So, inside this taboki, we have the... Korean rice cakes, we have the fish ball, and we actually have one more ingredient that I haven't showed you guys yet, which is this right here. This is some sliced up fish cakes. Here's a close up again. Focus. Ooh, I think it's focusing for once. Yes. Slay. Mmm. Pretty good. Also, there's a lot, a lot of cheese in here. At first, I wanted to name this mukbang a cheesy spicy Korean cake mukbang. Because I see a lot of channels do uh, cheesy tteokbokki, and I wanted to give it a try. Toss my hat in the ring. But unfortunately, knowing your boy, Merrick, he messed up again. So I was making my taboki and my game plan was I'll just make my regular taboki the way I make it and I'll just add some cheese when I'm done and stir it up and I'll make a lot a lot of cheesy strands and it'll look adorable for the thumbnail. Mm -mm. Oh no. That's not what happened. I think I bought the wrong type of cheese. What you're supposed to buy is mozzarella, I think. So it makes like nice cheese strands. But what I got was I bought a block of marble cheese, like the orange and white ones, and I shredded it up into like tiny little pieces and I just stirred it into my pot. And the, pro and the problem with that is the tiny little pieces actually melted into the sauce. So all the cheese is combined into the sauce now, so it's cheese flavored. And when I like kind of lift the cheese or lift the sauce up, you don't really see the cheese strands at all. So that's why I can't really say it's a cheesy taboki mukbang, but I guess like the sauce is cheese flavored now. Mmm. But hey, the silver, the silver lining in this is 
That means I'll need to make another Tabuki Mukbang in the future. Or cheesy Tabuki Mukbang to make up for this one. Mmm. Mmm. And I have no problem with that, honey. I love cheese, I love tabuki, so works out for me. Mm. Mm. As you can tell by the title today, we are doing another story time! Yay! Story time, story time, story time, story time! Who's ready for the story time? Cause I am. Go grab some tea cause we're about to spill it everyone. Before we get to the story time, let's do, you guys know it, let's do the question of the day. Today's question of the day is, have you ever been unlucky? If so, what happened? Have you ever been unlucky? If so, what happened? Did you miss your bus by 30 seconds? Did you, hmm, what's something else that's really unlucky? Did you forget your best friend's birthday and they got really mad at you? Is that really unlucky? I don't know. I don't know. I'm bad at coming up, coming up with examples, but in my story time today, I'll be outlining a situation that happened to me less than 24 hours ago where I was extremely, extremely unlucky. I would love to hear all your responses, so please leave them in the comments down below. Man, I really suck at coming up with examples on the spot. I was like, what other unlucky situation is there in life besides missing the bus? Hmm. Hmm. I guess you can kind of tell that this sauce has cheese in it because it's a lot thicker than regular tteokbokki sauce. Hmm. So, for today's story time, it's going to be called Just My Luck. Just My Luck. That's the title of today's story time. Mm. What today's story time involves are some cupcakes. I know, right? Cupcakes. Who doesn't like cupcakes? I love cupcakes. I love all sweets. I should do a cupcake mukbang or ASMR on this channel in the future. But today's story time involves cupcakes. Let me give you some background about these cupcakes, okay? So I love going to this specific cupcake parlor because every day they would have some cupcakes that are 50% off because they're day old cupcakes. Like they didn't manage to sell all their products the day they baked it. So the next day they discount those cupcakes to 50% off, which is great because I am cheap AF. I am not paying $3 for a cupcake, 250, I mean 150 is reasonable. I never pay full price. So whenever I go to this cupcake parlor, I always buy the 50% off day-old cupcakes. Hmm. So yesterday, I was hanging out with my friend. Let's call her Mariah. Me and Mariah, we were driving along and Mariah was like, hey, do you want to stop by this cupcake parlor and see if they have 50% off cupcakes. Now what we do is we like to call the cupcake parlor in advance because we don't want to drive all the way out there to find out that there's no 50% off cupcakes. 
because we would not be buying the regular price cupcakes, right? Mm. And that's exactly what we did. We gave them a ring on the telephone and they picked up. And Mariah was like, hey, do you guys have 50% off cupcakes today? And the woman on the other line, on the other line, on the other side was like, yeah, we have 50% off cupcakes. Aunt Mariah proceeds to ask, what flavors do you guys have? Mm. Now, usually when I call this cupcake parlor, they tell me the flavors. Like they have chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. But this time, hmm. Hmm. The person on the other side was like, we actually have a lot of Dale cupcakes. You should just come in and see for yourselves because there's so many flavors that they couldn't list it all on the phone, which is totally understandable when they're busy because they have customers that to deal with. So to our delight, we decide to drive there. And granted, it wasn't like a really long drive. It was only five minutes, right? We couldn't find parking next to the cupcake parlor because it was a busy road. You would have to pay for parking during that time of the day, time of the day. And you know us, we are cheap AF. So we found some residential parking that was for free. But the downside to that is we had to walk really far away from the cupcake parlor. And right now in my city, it's um, basically springtime and all the snow is melting, thank God. But the downside is because the snow is melting, it creates huge puddles. Sorry, my like hair inside my hat is itchy because of the sweat. This is actually pretty spicy. <laughs> Uh, TMI, right? TMI. So um, there's lots of puddles along the sidewalks and it was such a hassle to walk from my vehicle where we parked to the cupcake parlor because there would be these gigantic puddles and Mariah was wearing white shoes and I was wearing nice boots and we just didn't want to get our shoes dirty by like stepping in the puddle so we would have to walk on the road, risk being hit by a bus like Regina George. It was just a messy situation. But eventually we get to the cupcake parlor. After all that hard work, we get there. We get there, okay? Mm. I open the door to the cupcake parlor. And the 50% of cupcakes are placed in a very specific area. A very specific area in the store. Mm. Oh, very spicy. Now the thing was, with the layout of the cupcake parlor, when you walk in, you can actually see the area where the day old cupcakes are. So while I'm walking in, I see two boxes of the day old cupcakes and inside each box, there's probably 12 cupcakes. So 24 cupcakes in total for sale that are 50% off. Well, I'm literally like, grabbing the door handle and opening the door because it's like a it's not like a glass door but for some reason I kind of see someone like lifting the cupcakes from the cupcake sale spot 
Sorry, does that make any sense? Basically, while I was opening the door, I see the sales associate grab two boxes of cupcakes. And at first, I'm like, oh, maybe she's just rearranging the display. No big deal. I physically enter through the door. So at this point, I'm past the door, right? And I look to my right, and I see two women at the cashier. Obviously, they're customers. And now in my mind, I'm like, oh, maybe the woman, women's, women's, women, two, two women, two women, women, like with the E, the plural one, two women, they want to buy the day old cupcakes. Like maybe they want to get two each or like one each. Yeah, usually people buy one cupcake for themselves. So no big deal. Okay. I see uh, two women and they want to buy cupcakes, the day old cupcakes. I think the sales associate is just getting the cupcakes or bringing the cupcakes to the cashier so the two women can pick out the flavors they want. Me and Mariah, we walk to the area where the discounted cupcakes are being um, usually being held, like that area where they're placed down on the table. We're like waiting. And the sales associate is like helping the two women in the front at the cashier because they're buying the cupcakes. They're taking kind of a long time. So I kind of forgot exactly what I said, but it was along the lines of this. Mm. Hmm, I forgot a key fact of this cupcake parlor. They have mini cupcakes and big cupcakes and we wanted to get the big cupcakes, okay? So when we're at the discounted section of the cupcake store, we only see mini cupcakes. So I say to the sales associate, excuse me, do you guys have any regular sized cupcakes? The two trays or the two boxes that she took had regular cupcake sizes inside. The sales associate says this, sorry, we just sold them. Yeah, they just sold the two boxes of cupcakes. The two women bought 24 cupcakes, all of them. They bought all of them. Are you serious? I just called five minutes ago. Well, Mariah just called five minutes ago and you said there's so many cupcakes here that I can't list the flavors to you on the phone. Five minutes later, they're all sold out. And they're not even bought by 24 separate people. They're all bought by two people, two women. The two women bought 24 cupcakes. They cleared out the entire supply of discounted cupcakes. <laughs> I was like, no, we walked all the way from where I parked my car. We had to jump through puddles. We drove all the way here just to be empty handed walking out basically. It was so sad. Like how unlucky were we, right? Like maybe if I drove a little bit faster, maybe if there was a red light, we would beat the woman in front of us. Like, oh my God, I just couldn't believe it. We were so unlucky. Mm. I'm still a bit bitter about it. Mm. Does it end there, folks? Well, I guess like the unlucky situation does end there, but I kind of want to talk to you about something else related to the cupcake, situ cupcake situation. Hmm. Oh, I'm almost done with the pokey. Sorry, I need to catch my breath a little bit. <sighs> that storytelling got me so heated. Cause you know, right now, I mean, right, yeah, right now, after this meal, I can be eating some cupcakes for dessert, but because of those two women, 
I don't have dessert now. Mmm. Merrick is mad. Mad, mad, mad. Mad Merrick. Do I sound like a baby? I swear I'm 24 years old, you guys. Mmm. While we were walking out, me and Mariah were chatting. And basically, I'll tell you what I told her. I was wondering, since the women are still in the store, if we asked them nicely, do you think they would let us buy two of the 24 cupcakes? Do you think? Would you let two strangers buy two cupcakes from your two dozen cupcakes? I don't know, maybe. We never asked them though. We just walked out empty handed. There's no way that they're going to be eating 24 cupcakes, I don't think. Hmm. Like, even Hannah Marin from Pretty Little Liars can't eat 24 cupcakes. She only ate eight, I mean, ate six in season one of the show. Shout out to anyone who watches Pretty Little Liars. Love that series. Hmm. I don't know. Because, like... What I told Mariah was like, maybe they bought 24 cupcakes because it was a staff party, an office meeting, you never know, right? A school celebration. Like maybe there's 24 kids in the classroom for one of those um, parents, if they have kids, and they had to buy 24 cupcakes for all the kids in the classroom. Hmm. You never know. But like, obviously I'm not mad at them. It's just like, I've never seen someone buy that many cupcakes, like discounted cupcakes at that store before. Like usually the maximum amount of cupcakes I see someone buy is four. Cause that's, just, that's usually how much I buy. <laughs> hmm. I kind of felt robbed to be honest, not gonna lie. Hmm. It would be less frustrating if, say, we didn't get there within five minutes. If it took us like an hour drive, we would have been like, oh yeah, within that hour, so many people came by to the cupcake parlor. But no, <laughs> it was a five minute drive, okay? From the time that the woman said, we have so many cupcakes, I can't list all the flavors, to us walking through the door. Mm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hmm. I guess we're all unlucky sometimes in life. Some people more than others. Mm. I was watching this YouTuber, he's a vlogger, and he says, you know when you made it in life, Wait, he says, you know, when you made it in life is when you start winning everything. Like winning, not like, not like the lottery, but winning draws, small prizes, contests. Because he has this theory that once you made it in life, you start winning things because you don't need them anymore. And people who have not made it in life yet, they don't win anything because they had to go through the struggle of life. I think that I think like what he said made a lot of sense when I first heard it. Cause like once you made it, you're financially stable. You don't need to be winning these like fifty dollar gift cards to this cookie place or something. 
because you already have your savings built up over time for retirement or whatever. Isn't it interesting how life works? I don't think so. Hmm. Alrighty, so that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. If you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. Love you chopsticks and remember to slay your day.